Well, prosecutors say the suspected gunman in the 4th of July parade shooting outside of Chicago admitted to opening fire. Seven people died, dozens more still hurt. Investigators also say the suspect contemplated a second attack. ABC's Morgan Norwood reports from Highland Park. Mounting questions as to how the suspected gunman Robert Cremo III charged in the deadly 4th of July rampage in Highland Park, Illinois, was able to legally buy five guns after a series of red flags. Authorities now investigating the suspect's father, who sponsored his son's application to obtain a firearm owner's ID because he was under 21. All of this despite a prior suicide attempt and alleged threats to kill his family. Overnight, the father speaking to ABC News, Robert Cremo Jr., who says he does not live with his son, claiming he was unaware of some of those incidents when he sponsored the application. I filled out the consent form to allow my son to go through the process. They do background checks, whatever it entails. The 21-year-old Cremo charged with seven counts of first-degree murder after prosecutors say he confessed to the mass shooting that left seven dead and dozens more injured. His father claims he had no involvement in his son's weapons purchases, some of which occurred after his 21st birthday. This was taken by complete surprise. Three days before the fourth, my wife had asked him, hey, do you have any plans for the fourth? And they simply said no. Illinois State Police say law enforcement did not have enough information to deny Cremo a firearm, but his father could face criminal charges. There could be serious charges, no doubt about it, because in the state of Illinois, when a minor applies for a firearm, a parent has to sponsor them. And a parent signs the following that they, quote, shall be liable for any damages resulting from the minor applicant's use of firearms or firearm ammunition. Prosecutors say not only did the suspect confess to the massacre, they also say he considered carrying out a second attack on a celebration in Madison, Wisconsin. Instead, he drove back to the Chicago area where police say he was later arrested. His motivation isn't uh, necessarily clear. Police say they have surveillance images of the suspect on the day of the attack. He's due back in court in a few weeks and has not yet entered a plea. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Highland Park, Illinois.